Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Welcome to the online Sunday school service. I hope you all had a great week. I ask you all to stay till the end of the video so that you can learn and understand about the beautiful and wonderful works of our God. The main concept in Bible is to praise God. So today let's praise God with all of our heart. Let's worship Him with all of our soul. Now let's take a moment to look to God in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful day, Lord Jesus. I thank you for giving us this time and opportunity to gather here in your presence, Lord Jesus. I thank you for every single thing you've done in our lives, Lord Jesus. I submit the teachers, the students, everybody watching this video into your loving hands, Lord Jesus. I ask you to bless us all and guide us into the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, children. I hope and pray that all of you are blessed and safe at home. We have been learning about the fruits of the Spirit. We all like to see good fruits on the tree. In the same way, God also wants to see us bear good fruits for Him. When we become God's children, God the Holy Spirit, He comes and lives inside us and He changes us from inside out. He will help us to develop good qualities in us that God wants from us. We've already learned love, joy and peace. So today we will be learning another fruit of the Spirit, the fourth fruit of the Spirit, that is patience. Now what does patience mean? Let me illustrate you patience with a small example. See, I have an ice cube in my hand. How do you make this? Okay, we'll take a small cup and we pour water in it and we keep it in the freezer. So do we take it out immediately or after five minutes? No, we have to wait for a long time for the ice to be formed. So when we wait for a long time, an ice cube which is hard from inside and outside is formed. So what do we learn from this? Is for things to happen in our life, for things to change in our life, we need to wait patiently. That is, we need to give time for it to happen. I'm sure all of you are waiting for some or the other thing. Some of you must be waiting for your schools to start or to talk to your friends. Even for your next birthday, you're waiting. Some of you are even waiting to grow big. And most of us are waiting for the second coming of Jesus. There are also small, small things that we are waiting for. Maybe you are doing your homework and you are just waiting for you to finish and go and see TV. And sometimes when we are waiting, we start complaining. You know, we get angry, we get restless and we get very upset. But this is not what God wants us to do. The Bible tells us that a person who has patience or who waits with the right attitude has a lot of wisdom. Proverbs 14, 29 eh? Whoever is patient has great understanding. It does join and worship Jesus and give all the glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord everybody. Uh, I welcome each and every one of you all in the name of the Lord. And I hope everybody is doing well today. Uh, and before we start the praise and worship, I would like to uh, share with you a small verse which talks about worshipping the Lord. Uh, it's taken from Psalms 95 verse 6. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. With this, please do join with me in singing the song, Here I Am to Worship. Oh 
God is very patient with us and he wants us to wait. But why do we need to wait? Yes, we need to wait because everything is not in our control. And sometimes we may not get everything that we want. And God has his own timing of giving us things. There are three different situations where we can show patience. So we will see today the three different situations that teach us how to have patience through the story in the Bible. So first, we need to have patience for things to happen in our life. So in the Bible, we see that for hundreds and hundreds of years, God had been promising Israelites or his own family a rescuer and king. This rescuer would come as a baby and he would be his very own son. When Jesus was finally born, there was a man living in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was especially excited for God's promised king because he loved God and followed him with his whole heart. The Holy Spirit told Simeon that the baby king would be born while Simeon was still alive. A little while after Jesus' birth, the Holy Spirit asked Simeon to go to the temple. He may have not known why, but he obeyed. While Simeon was at the temple, Mary and Joseph brought their baby Jesus to the temple to dedicate him to God. As soon as Simeon saw Mary and Joseph with Jesus, he knew it was him. Simeon took Jesus in his arms and said, Lord, you are the king over oh, all. Lord, now let thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Simeon waited for a long time to see Jesus, and he rejoiced when he saw Jesus. We need to wait for things to happen in our life, because God has his own time to do things. Secondly, we need patience to tolerate people in our life. There are people who try to hurt us, trouble us, and make fun of us, but we need to have patience with such people in our life. We read in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, that love is patient. So when we show patience to people around us, that is when we love people the way God loves us, we can tolerate difficult people in our life because God wants us to love even our enemies. Thirdly, we need to have patience for things to change around us, especially when we are sick or somebody is sick at home. We need to pray and wait for God because he will definitely heal us when we wait patiently. We read from the Bible the story of a man at the pool. Jesus was returning to Jerusalem to celebrate a big Jewish holiday. He visited the pool of Bethesda. This was not an ordinary pool. This was a place of sickness and pain. Blind, crippled and paralyzed people came to the pool waiting and hoping to be healed. A man had been waiting for 38 years. Jesus healed him and told the man to stop sinning because he loved him. So Bible tells us that we need to wait patiently when things go wrong in our life. And when we allow God to work in us, we can expect and hope for greater things in our life. Lastly, we read from the Bible that God has shown a lot of patience with us. Yes, he wants everybody in this world to come to him. That is why he's been waiting for us patiently to come to repentance. That is, 
if we have done anything wrong god wants us to come back to him and ask him sorry and when we ask sorry god forgives us and he will enable us to love people and he will change the situation for us so children we need to show patience especially when we face difficult situations and difficult people in our life and god he sees us from above and he will definitely reward us so let us pray our gracious heavenly father we thank you lord for this wonderful time that you have given us lord to learn more about the fruit of the spirit patience thank you jesus that you have patience with us and you have forgiven us our sins lord lord help us holy spirit to grow more and more lord to be your children of patience lord lord to wait for your timing and to hope and trust in you lord jesus yes lord keep us away from complaining and being restless lord but to trust you in all that we do lord jesus help us to deal with difficult people and difficult situations in our life with the patience that you give us lord yes father we thank you for this wonderful time that we have spent in your presence lord bless all of them who are watching this lord lord that they will be able to lord develop this quality of patience in their life and live a life that glorifies your name in jesus most mighty name we pray amen god bless you all children stay blessed and stay safe bye today's memory verse is james chapter 5 verse 8 you to be patient and stand firm because the lord is coming near for this series craft let us make a fruit of the spirit spin wheel to make this you need two a4 size white paper a round box lid a scale a pair of scissors your sketch pens a paper pin and a pencil draw a circle with the help of the lid and cut both the papers on one circle make nine parts as shown then take the other circle and cut a triangle equal to any one part you can write fruit of the spirit on the cut paper and color it using sketch pens now take both of the papers and pierce it at the middle using the paper pin you can put a small rubber cut piece on the other side as a stopper your spin wheel is ready please do send the video of memory verse and the activity to the number displayed on the screen bye kids god bless you